right, guys. So um, this is part two of the DC Circuit Builder tutorial. Um, in this video, I want to talk to you about um, what are known as parallel circuits and show you how to build one and then point out a couple key features that will help you complete the homework for Monday. So again, we have our DC circuit builder um, battery here and our parts, wire, resistor, light bulb, and current or ammeter. And so to build our parallel circuit, we want, oops, do not do that. So we want to start with a couple wires and build that across there and then this down here okay and then oops we'll put an ammeter here by the battery and then our three resistors one two three and I guess we don't need that last piece there right okay and then we want to measure the current going through each of the branches and then connect everything with one, one wire and so you, you can see why um, this is called a parallel circuit because what you end up with is parallel branches the circuit forks um, and you, you end up with a couple of different conductive paths that all run parallel to each other and so the the charge has multiple ways to get back to the battery. Um, it all it all leaves the battery. Some of it some of it takes path one. Some of it takes path two. Some of it takes path three. And so what I want you to look at is um, what does that mean in terms of the current? First of all, um, so one of the things it, um, about um, circuits is that charge has to be conserved. You can't create charge or you can't destroy charge. So the amount of charge that's leaving the battery has to be the same as the amount of charge coming into the battery. And so what that what that's gonna lead us to conclude is that the currents, if you look at the currents, the total current down here is 2.7 amps on my example and then each of the branches because the the resistors are all equal um, and I think they're the default 10 ohm 10 ohm resistors because they're all equal um, and then a, according to Ohm's law it's a 9 volt battery you have a 10 amp res, uh, 10 amp resistor um, and then you can see the drop you have 9 volts on on one side of the resistor and then no you drop down to zero potential zero volts on the other side of the resistor. And what's interesting about this is this is the same for all of the resistors. All of the resistors have the same voltage drop from 9 down to 0. And so if you use Ohm's law, 9 volts divided by 0.8 amps, or 0.9 amps rather, is going to get you 10, 10, 10 ohms of resistance. Um, and so that's that's one interesting thing. The other thing is if you look at all the all the currents, so the current 0 0.9 plus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.9, and compare that to the total amount of current that you have leaving the battery and coming back, do you see the relationship between the individual currents and the total current leaving and, and returning to the battery? And so that but, but that's one of the main things that I want you to figure out and understand about parallel circuits um, and then the other one is what's going on with the um, with the resistances so how does the total resistance using Ohm's law um, find the total resistance of the entire circuit um, how does that compare to the parts how does that compare to the individual resistances? So if you have 10 ohms here, here, and here, how does that compare to the total resistance? If you do that math, um, the results of that are not intuitive. And 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 what and one way I can 
demonstrate this is if you shut down the other two branches and you just kind of look at what happens to the current as you increase the number of branches so you put more resistors in parallel you're increasing the number of resistors but look at what's happening to the total current total current for the resistance for, for the total circuit is going up not down and if we add the third branch we've increased the current um, even more so the, the more things we put in in parallel the more things the more that's going to increase the current um, and this is this is kind of what uh, we were talking a little bit about um, if you put multiple things into one wall outlet or one surge protector that's just like putting putting more things in in parallel um, and so the more you do that the more the more current you get flowing through that entire circuit um, and so you can see why as you add more and more and more things into the same plug or the same surge protector see why that might be a problem um, and so yeah so that that's those are the main two points we'll look at what's happening with the currents compared to the overall current and what's happening with the resistance compared to the overall resistance um, and that's everything I think you need to know um, to complete the homework um, and I guess I guess the last thing would be to um, to calculate how much power are you getting from each of you know you have the power in from the battery and then how much power is coming out from each of the resistors that's it hope this was helpful and uh, see you guys in class on Monday